Hello, my favorite mathematicians. Welcome to 4.5 One-Step Equations, Part 1. Our essential question today is how do you solve one-step equations algebraically? Go ahead and grab those needed supplies, your writing utensil, your math notebook, a growth mindset, and some determination because we are going to dive right in and learn how to solve one-step equations algebraically. All right, let's just dive in. Here is our equation, m plus 2 equals 14. I know, I know, I know. Most of you, if not all of you, can look at that and you know what m is. You know what plus 2 equals 14. But our essential question and our learning goal was about solving them algebraically. Because while this one we can look at and just know, they're going to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow as we advance in our math career. And we're going to reach a point where we can't do them in our heads anymore. So we're going to learn how to start with baby steps, solving them algebraically, so that when they do grow and grow and grow and grow, we'll have a good foundation on how to solve those problems, and it won't be so hard. When you solve an equation algebraically, our goal, we have one goal, and that is to isolate the variable. Or in other words, we want that variable, in this case that m, all alone, all by itself. But the problem right now, as you can see, is it's not by itself. It has a plus 2 hanging out with it. So we have to get rid of that plus 2. But you can't just take it and erase it or mark it out and be done. That doesn't work. We have to go about doing this mathematically. Well, the way I can kind of get rid of a positive 2 is by using its opposite. We learned a while back that the opposite of a positive 2 was a negative 2 or a minus 2. Well, if I take 2 and I put its opposite together, those are 0 pairs. That makes 0. Now it's gone. And we did it mathematically. It's like magic. But now there's another problem because what does that equal sign mean? Yeah, it means equal. It means the same as. It means balanced. Well, if this is a scale like we've been looking at and I take 2 away from this side, my scale tips, it's not balanced, it's not the same anymore. What can I do to make it the same? You got it. If I took two away from this side, I could go take two away from this side, and then it'll be the same. I've kept everything the same, I've kept everything equal, I've kept everything balanced. Now, all I have left is m equals 12. There's my answer. My variable has been isolated, it's all by itself now. And what I love about equations, mathematicians, is that I can take that answer and I can go plug it back in and see if I'm right. And then I make a good grade, I make a 100, I'm always right every time. What does that look like? Well, we're m plus 2, we think m is 12, so 12 plus 2 is 14. That's a true statement and I know I'm correct. Let's look at another one. This time we have p plus 5 equals 21. Same goal. Get the variable all by itself. Get that P all alone. I'm going to use the inverse, the opposite of positive 5, which is minus 5. That is 0. Now it's gone. But now everything isn't the same anymore. So I've got to go to the other side of my equal sign and do the same thing to keep everything the same. 21 minus 5 is 16. Now everything is the same and p is equal to or the same as 16. Plug it back in and see if we're right. 16 plus 5 is 21, which is what that equation says. That means we're good. Last equation, this one looks just a tiny bit different. I wanted to throw it at you just so you could see it. This time my variable and my constant have been switched, and so my number comes first. But it's still a positive 12, and I still go about removing it the same way with its opposite. The opposite of a positive 12 is a minus 12. But now everything is not the same again. How many times can Ms. Weaver say same in this video? So I have to go to the other side and do the same thing to keep everything the same. 20 minus 12 is 8. And now I'm left with z equals 8. And again, I can plug that in and make sure that it is a true statement. 12 plus 8 is, in fact, 20. All right, we're going to pause the video. You've got three problems to try. Remember, our learning goal today is to solve them algebraically. So I need to see you work out those steps, doing the same thing on both sides and not just giving an answer. All right.
right, hopefully you came up with these answers. I have not shown the steps here, but remember you must show them in your notes before moving forward. Okay, we have one more kind of problem we want to talk about. Those were all addition problems, and we solved them by doing the inverse. We solved them by subtracting. So now I want to flip around and look at some problems that are subtraction, and how do you think we're going to solve these? You got it. We're going to do the opposite, and we're going to add this time. Same goal. Isolate the variable. Get it all by itself. This time, our variable is j, and it has a minus 2. The inverse, the opposite of minus 2, is a positive 2. Remember, those opposite pairs make 0. So this isn't 2 plus 2. This is a minus 2 and a positive 2 to make 0. Things aren't the same anymore. We're going to go to the other side and do the exact same thing to keep everything the same as because that's what that equal sign means. 14 plus 2 is 16, so j is equal to 16. And just like with the addition problems, I can plug that in to check it. 16 minus 2 is, in fact, 14. All right, r minus 5 equals 21. We're trying to get r all by itself. The opposite of minus 5 is plus 5. Those are opposite pairs. Together, they make 0. Going to the other side to do the same thing to keep everything the same. 21 plus 5 is 26. So R is equal to 26. And I can plug that back in. 26 minus 5 is, in fact, 21. Last problem in our notes today, e minus 12 equals 8. We're going to do the opposite of minus 12, which we know is a positive 12. And again, those opposite pairs make 0. Going to go to the other side and do the same to keep everything the same. 8 plus 12 is 20. So e is equal to 20. And I can plug that in and check it. 20 minus 12 is 8. All right, mathematicians, it's time for you to pause and try the next three problems on your own. Remember, you are solving them algebraically. Go ahead, pause the video and get started on that. All right, mathematicians, go ahead and check your answers. Remember, you should have shown all of your steps solving it algebraically in your notes. Mathematicians, that is the end of 4.5 one-step equations, part one. You should now be able to solve some one-step equations algebraically. Let me go ahead and give that shout out to Amy Grosbeck, Amanda Newsom, and Wright Lovely for their amazing fonts and clip arts. Mathematicians, go forth and be amazing.